Hello, good evening. It's nice to see you again, guys. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Alba. Good evening. How are you today? ¿Cómo están el día de hoy? I'm just fine, teacher. That's great, Manuel. Thank you. Christopher Raúl, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Fine. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Brenda. You are excellent. That's great. I'm perfect tonight. Thank you for asking me. So, Hello, it's a teacher. Good evening. Hello, Eliseo Sarabia. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you, teacher. Oh, that's great. That's excellent. So let's start with the class. Uh, welcome again. It's a pleasure to be with you in this class tonight. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, let me know, please, if you have a problem in the platform. Do you have a problem or question about the exercises on the platform? Uh, okay, tell me, Jose, what's your problem? El, el, el apartado C del middle, el examen intermedio, es de las últimas dos interrogantes, no sé cómo responderla. Ok, we are going to take a look at that. So you say exercise C on the midterm exam. We're going to check in a minute. Anybody has a problem? ¿Alguien más yes. que tenga algún problema? No more problems, no more problems. Okay, let's go then. Vamos a chequear esos dos ejercicios. Let's go to the platform. Let's look for exercise C on the midterm exam. A, B, C. Okay, what is the problem here? Pues, eh, lo, las últimas dos, no sé cómo, cómo responder. Okay, so it's a, it's a conversation, right? Let's try. Excuse me. Let's complete this. Excuse me. Are. Okay, are. And the answer is no. No, I'm, I am. No, I am not. I am. And then in this part. It could be he is over there. He is over there. My name is Nicole Parker. Oh, I'm sorry. You miss Brown. So it's looking for a girl. So it's she. She is over there. My name is Nicole Parker. Oh, I'm sorry. Well. ¿Cuál sería acá? Any idea? Yo en esa de arriba le puse cheese. Okay. She is over there. My name is... Ella over over there, ¿qué significa? Ahí. Es como, she's over there. Ella está ahí. My name como is Paul Parker. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it sería it. Cabrón. It is or it. Let's check if it is. Let's check if it is correct. Oh, it is. And look, the person, yes, it is. What about the second? Uh -huh. yo, yo eso había puesto ahí y también me decía que estaba incorrecto. Ok, veamos si lo ponemos contractado. Ok, contractado funciona. It's, it's nice to meet you. Gracias. Ok. So Pero she... debería de funcionar con solo it, it, ¿verdad? Porque yeah. es lo mismo. 
Sí, es lo mismo. Probablemente sea porque la expresión es así, ¿verdad? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Pero es lo mismo, ¿verdad? It is. Any other question? Any other doubt here? Vale, cuando escribamos vale. contracciones, solo asegurémonos que el signo que estamos utilizando, como en este caso, yet, sea el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Ya sea en nuestro teléfono o en el teclado de nuestra computadora. Porque si le ponemos el acento normal de lo que utilizamos en español, eh, no nos va a funcionar. Entonces, asegurémonos que sea el apóstrofe para que no tengamos problemas. ¿Y si ok? Okay. ok. Por cierto, ¿quién ya hizo el meter? Yo. A mí solamente esa parte que me hacía falta. Ah, ok. Christopher Vázquez, good evening, teacher. I'm sorry. Ok, Christopher Vázquez, thank you so much. I understand. No problem. Okay, no more question about the platform then. Uh, just remember, please, that during this week, you have to complete the section number three and also the midterm exam. It is important that you complete uh, those exercises and the midterm during this week. You have until Thursday. Tiene hasta el día jueves, ¿verdad? Por ahí en el grupo nos avisaron en un mensajito que tenemos hasta el día jueves para completar la sección 3 y el examen de medio curso. So don't forget about that, please. Delmi Arely, do you have a question? Sí, Cher, fíjese que yo este ya voy por la sección 5, pero este, hay una parte donde es escuchar sonidos y yo escucho que Mari porque así dice, ¿verdad? María está comprando, pero ya le puse comprar este shopping, eh, bullying, y, o sea, todo lo que, pero no, no sé por qué no me sale correcto. Ok, yo sé section 5. Sí. Let's take a look at this, section five. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just give me a second. It's taking some time to work. A quick exercise. ¿En cuál ejercicio es el problema? ¿En cuál ejercicio? Can you please tell me? En el cuarto, teacher. Eh, ¿Is it this one? Sí. It says, what's Mari doing? Listen to the sounds and respond in each number. Follow the examples. ¿En todos ellos es el problema o solo en alguno en específico? Eh, number eight. Number eight. Answer questions about each sound. One. Two. Wednesday 
five. Six. Seven. Eight. It's kind of difficult to solve this exercise, right? They, they are just <laughs> Okay. What are, ¿Qué le puso acá? She is working. What is Mari doing? She is working. Creo, creo que es cajera. Cajera. She is working. No, it doesn't work. What do you think it is? She is shopping? No, it isn't. Alguien tiene alguna idea? What's Mari doing? Cashier. Este es el eh, presente progresivo. Jonathan, tell me. Pasando los comprados, no sé, algo así. Is it, she is paying? Pagando? Oh, no, teacher, también cajera, cajera. Vayan. She is buying. Ah, está interesante este link. Cajera, uh, cajera, teacher. Cashier. Yes. Pero, esta Pero está preguntando es, qué está haciendo. What are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué está haciendo Mari? Sería, ella está trabajando, ¿no? o ella está comprando, ella está pagando, según el audio. Pero sería con contracción, teacher. Ah. Y que siempre, siempre tendremos que responder con, con el verbo así, con ING. She is working. No, she is shopping. Co cobrando. Charging. She's shopping. No. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Cobrando. Cobrando. It could be. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to give you the answer in a minute. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing this. Give me a second. <laughs> I can see now the answer. Do you want to listen again? Yes. <laughs> bah. No se imaginan cuál es la respuesta. Charging. No, it isn't. This is the answer. No. <laughs> This is the answer. She is doing that. Do you know what is that? It is in the chat. It's a friend. Yes. Typing. ¿Qué es eso? Eh, typing. That's the answer. She's typing. Creo que no se escucha el teclado. Ah, verdad que no. It's kind of difficult this. Pero sí, esa es la respuesta. She's typing. Intente con esa y me dice si no le funciona, please. Ok. Okay, thank you so much for your help in this exercise. So let's start with tonight's class. Tonight we're going to learn some adjectives to describe people. So are you ready to start the class? You say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am ready. Okay, here we go. This is the topic for tonight. Let me share it with you. Describing people. We are going to learn some adjectives in order to describe people. So welcome to your class number 
six, right? So in this class, you will learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. When we are describing a person, uh, we need two types of adjectives, personality adjective and physical appearance adjective. Necesitamos adjetivos de personalidad bueno, y algunos adjetivos de apariencia física. ¿Ya conocen algunos adjetivos de personalidad? Um, friendly. Ok. Talk, friendly. Talk, friendly. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is physical appearance. Talk, angry. Shy. Angry, shy. Yes. Any other? Intelligent. Yeah, intelligent. Sure. So we are going to learn a lot of adjectives tonight. So just a second. Let's continue then. Before to go to the adjective and how to describe people, we are going to practice this. Yesterday we were studying numbers and also we studied WH question word with the verb to be. So let's practice with numbers tonight. Can you tell me please, how do you say this number in English? 100. 100. Okay, 100, excellent. The next. 67. 67, yes, you're right. The next. 72. 72. 72. 72, yes, the next. 26. 26. Let's see the other one. 88. In the next. 58. 58. 58. Let's see the next. 109. You have two options. You say 109 or 109. And the next? 43. 43. 43. 43. The next? 90, 91. 91. 91. The next one? 39. 39. 39. And the next? 104. 104, yes. No problem with numbers. You did a great job. Thank you so much. Then I have this uh, small conversation. Uh, hello, good evening. My name is, what's your name? En el espacio en blanco, usted lo va a completar con su nombre. And hi, my name is, how are you? What's the meaning of that question? How are you? What's the meaning of that question? ¿Cómo estás? Okay, ¿cómo estás? Great. And it says, I'm good. And you? Estoy bien. And you? Then the other person answered, I'm great. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. And what is the meaning of this question? What's Canada like? What's ¿Cómo Canada? Canada? Like? Okay, excellent. And it says, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. I have Josue David Flores and Delmi Areli. So Josue, you are A and Delmi, you are B. Hello, good evening. My name is David. What's your name? Hi, my name is Delmi. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm great. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. The next. What's Canada like? What's Canada like? <laughs> Es que tenía el micrófono apagado, teacher. Ah, okay. Don't worry. 
Josué. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. Thank you. So any other participants who wants to try? I have Jonathan and Olga. So Jonathan, you are A and Olga, you are B. You can start. Okay. Hello. Good evening. My name is Jonathan. What's your name? Hello, Olga. Can you listen to us? Olga, hello, good evening. Now, oh, what is Olga? Hello, Olga, can you listen? Olga, nos puede escuchar? Okay, we can't listen you, Olga. Then Dina is there. Can you help? Can you help us, please? Then it's Jonathan and Dina, please. Okay. Hello. Good evening. My name is Jonathan. What's your name? Dina, are you there? Sí, pero no le escuché a él. Creo que es por mi señal. ¿Puede volver a repetir, por favor? Uh, ok, Jonathan, can you please repeat your part, your sentences? Okay. okay, hello, good evening. My name is Jonathan. What's your name? Hi, my name is Dina. How are you? I am good. And you? I'm great. Where are you from? I am from Canada. What's Canada like? Oh, it's a beautiful place. That was great. Thank you so much, Jonathan and Dina. And I have Emmanuel, Emmanuel Araujo. Emmanuel. And any other volunteer? I need one more. Olga, si puede escribirme en el chat si nos escucha. Veo que tiene activado su micrófono, pero no le escuchamos, Olga. Escriba en el chat, please, if you can listen. Si nos puede escuchar, escriba en el chat, por favor. Bye. Ok, Emanuel, and tell me, Alexandra. Can you please? Emanuel, you are A, tell me you are B. Okay. Hello. Good evening. My name is Emmanuel. What's your name? Hi. My name is Delmi. How are you? I'm good. And you? I am great. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. What's Canada like? It's a beautiful place. Okay, thank you so much, Delmi and Emmanuel. That was great, thank you. So we studied yesterday this question. What's your name? How are you? Where are you from? And what's Canada like? Or what's your friend like? And tonight we're going to study adjectives to describe people. So take a look at this picture. It's a, ¿qué está sucediendo en esa imagen? What are they doing? Or donde están ellos? It's a party. Oh, yes. It's, it's a, a birthday party. It's a meeting. It's a family meeting. It's a birthday party. Uh, look at the clown. Observen el payaso. Será que es un payaso para niños? No. <laughs> no. It, Da un poco de miedo, ¿verdad? Ok, now let's see. Yes. En, en cada una de las personas hay una oración. There is a sentence describing these people. Oh, ok, Christopher Vázquez, el meter está junto con la sección número 3. Justo después de la sección número 3, ahí encuentra el meter, Christopher. 
al final de la clase les voy a, most les voy a mostrar para que vean dónde lo pueden encontrar. Thank you. Bueno, eh, cada una de estas personas hay una oración con el verbo to be, describiendo, diciendo una característica de cada una de ellas. Let's start with this. The first one, look at this. Any volunteer to read the sentence? ¿Quién quiere leer la oración? He's short. Ok, thank you. He's short. He's short. Él es pequeño, ¿verdad? Bajo de estatura. ¿Y la señora? He's a little heavy. She's a little heavy. She's a little he's heavy. A, he's a little. Está un poquito pasada de peso. She's a little heavy. And what about this guy? He is really tall. He is really tall. He is really tall. Él es muy alto. And what about this girl? She is thin. She is thin. She is thin. What is thin, teacher? Jonathan Orlando, do you have a question? Olga, do you have a question? No, teacher, se me activó. No question, Jonathan. No question, teacher. teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Let's continue. Yeah. Yes. Tal cativa es como muy habladora. Así es. Tal cativa es como hablantín, decimos nosotros. That is, that is tal cativa. Una persona que le gusta hablar mucho. So, she's thin. Yeah. Ella es delgada. She's thin. He's handsome. He's handsome. She's very pretty. And they are good looking. Ellos son bonitos, ¿verdad? atractivos. Él es guapo, ella es bonita. He's quiet. Pretty. He's quiet. He's quiet. Él es tranquilo, callado. Callado. She's callado. talkative. Ella es, le gusta hablar Parlantina. mucho. She's talkative. And what about this talkative. girl? She's shy. She's shy. And what about the clown? He's funny. He's funny. Um, hello. <laughs> she's serious. She's serious. serious. Cualquiera se pone serio al ver un payaso así. She's serious. Ella es seria. ¿verdad? Él es divertido. El payaso es divertido. And I have, she's really friendly. Ella es muy amigable. So the objectives here really are friendly. tall, short, heavy, friendly, good looking, pretty, handsome, thin, quiet, talkative, shy, funny, and serious. Those are the objectives. And we are going to study a lot of objectives tonight. So let's start. Uh, look at this, brave. Do you know the meaning of this adjective? Someone Valiente. who isn't afraid of danger. Una persona mm -hmm. que no le tiene no. miedo al peligro. So that is brave. Chatty. Someone who talks a lot. Someone who talks a lot. Alguien que le gusta hablar muchísimo. Let's see the next. Number three, clever. Clever, good at learning things. Una persona inteligente, ¿verdad? Lista, buena en aprender cosas. That is clever. Then I have cowardly. Cowardly. Someone who is afraid of things. Alguien que le tiene miedo a todas las cosas. That is cowardly. In Spanish, it is? Cobarde. Cobarde, yes. Let easy going. Someone who is easy to get along with. Easy going, una persona llevadera. ¿ves? Easy going, llevadera. Es llevadero. Es fácil estar con ella, ¿verdad? Se lleva uno muy bien con ella. Llevadero, we say in Spanish. And number six, friendly. Friendly, mm -hmm. someone who is nice to, to other people. Someone who is nice to other people. Alguien que es bueno, ¿verdad? Buena onda, decimos nosotros. That is friendly. Amistoso, amigable. Then seven, we have funny. Someone who is uh, amusing, right? Eh, siempre está entretenido a los demás. I have a question. 
What's your question? Uh, he escuchado la palabra eh, funi, pero también la palabra fun, eh, que significa lo mismo divertido, es así. Oh, funny is the, um, is the adjective, and fun is the name. Funny sería el adjetivo, y fun es diversión, es el nombre. Funny uh, es el adjetivo. The... Ah, ok, entiendo. Thank you for your question. Let's continue with the other adjective. Generous. Generous, someone who shares their time or things with others. It's a person who likes to share things. ¿verdad? Alguien que le gusta compartir su tiempo o sus cosas with others. Grumpy. Someone who is bad tempered. Gruñón, ¿verdad? Alguien que es muy enojado, alguien que se queja o se enoja por todo. And then I have hard working, someone who works very hard. Una persona que trabaja mucho. Okay, now let's see. In this part, we are going to make sentences using the verb to be. Let's see, for example. Eh, ¿Conocen ustedes a una persona valiente? Brave, a brave person. And then you say, my dad, for example, is brave. My dad is brave. You know, if you can use her, his name, in this case, my dad, Carlos, is brave. Es valiente. ¿Conocen a alguna persona que sea chari? Que le guste hablar bastante. Mi hija. Okay, then you say my daughter is, what's the name? What's her name? My daughter. What's her name? ¿Cuál es su nombre? My daughter. Ashley. Okay, Ashley. Is it correct? Ashley? Yes. My daughter Ashley is chatty. Clever, ¿conocen a alguien? Clever, then you say, my, you can say, my son, my husband, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my co-worker. My classmate. My classmate, muy bien, my classmate is, so tell me his or her name. My classmate. ¿Cuál es el nombre de su compañero que es listo, inteligente? Let's write a name. My classmate Roman is clever. Y de esta manera vamos haciendo oraciones. So my coworker is cowardly. Oh, my cousin is cowardly. Mi primo es cobarde. Oh, my friend is cowardly. Easy going. You say, my wife is easy going. And you can write the name. My wife, Maria, for example, is easy going. Friendly. You say, my mother is friendly. So my mother. Let's write a name. It's friendly. Y de esta manera hacemos oraciones, ¿verdad? Con estos adjetivos. Great, chatty, clever, cowardly, easy going, friendly, funny, generous, grumpy, and hardworking. Let's go with the next. Let's go with the next slide. Let's move on to the next. Honest. What's the meaning of this adjective, honest? Honesto. Honesto. 
time. What's the meaning of time? Es como divertido o, o bromista. No. Amable. Amable, ¿verdad? Someone who behaves in caring, uh, let's see, a way towards other people. Alguien que tiene cuidado de las otras personas. ¿verdad? Muy amable. Amable. Lazy. Uh, lazy is a person who avoids no, pero work. Perezoso. Una persona que evita el trabajo, that is lazy. Load. Load is. Ruidoso. Ruidoso, ¿verdad? Alguien que habla muy fuerte, that is load. Y lucky. Lucky. Suerte. Traviesa. No, no really. Afortunada. Muy bien, someone who often mm. has good fortune. Alguien que tiene buena fortuna. Suertudo. Mm. Pues mean. Mm -hmm. Mean. Teacher. Hello. Me escucha, teacher. Soy Olga. Hello, Olga. Ahora sí lo escuchamos. Sí, no tenía señal del internet como aquí está lloviendo en este lugar. Ah, okay, I understand. Don't worry, Olga. Welcome to the class. We are studying adjective right now. Adjective to describe people's personality. Adjetivos para describir personas. So let's continue. Mean. Any idea? Tacaño. Tacaño. Alguien que no regala nada. That is mean. Then I have moody. Moody es alguien que cambia de humor constantemente. ¿verdad? El día de hoy pudo haberle dicho, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Pero mañana ni lo saluda. Está enojado. That is Moody. Eh, number eight, a nasty, an unpleasant person. Una persona que no es grata. ¿verdad? Una persona con la que no nos gusta estar. That is nasty. En mí, a person who is very tidy. Una persona muy limpia, ¿verdad? That is neat. Alguien que siempre anda arreglado, bien peinado, eh, bien vestido, su ropa limpia, planchada. That is neat. A neat person. En nervous. What is the meaning of this? Nervous. Nerviosa. Nervioso. Bueno, ahora es su turno de encontrar a una persona que tenga uno de estos adjetivos. Puede ser de su familia, de sus amigos o sus compañeros de trabajo o sus compañeros en la universidad. So, tell me, any volunteer to tell a sentence? And I'm going to write here your sentence. Any volunteer? Okay, tell me, Alexandra, tell me. Puede ser my brother. Okay, my brother. Ever. Yes. Is honest. Is no honest. Me. Yes. Honest. That's why my brother Ever is honest. Thank you for your sentence. That is a great sentence. My brother ever is honest. Thank you so much. Then I have, let's see. My sister. My sister. Uh, Anna. My sister, is, Anna. Uh, is king. Is kind, okay. My sister, kind. Anna, is kind. Thank you so much. Mi hermana Ana es amable. Thank you. Any other sentence? Jonathan Orlando, can you please tell me your sentence? Yes. Uh, lazy, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, lazy, a person who avoids the word. My friend Rene is lazy. Okay, my friend Rene is 
Lazy. It's lazy. Thank you so much. Del me Arely, what is your sentence? Tell me, Arely, what is your sentence? My husband. My husband. Reinaldo. Yes. Loud or low? It's loud. It's loud. Loud. It's loud. loud. Ok, hace mucho ruido para hablar. My husband Reynaldo is loud. Ok, so don't forget about this adjective. Honest, kind, lazy, loud, lucky, mean, moody, nasty, neat, and nervous. Si se escogería uno para describirse usted, ¿cuál sería de los que están acá en este momento? And you say, I'm honest. I'm honest. Or you say, I mean. I'm, or I am, mean. Yo soy tacaño, teacher. Mi pan francés regalo. I am mean. <laughs> um, I'm moody. I'm moody. So I, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm I look, look it. Ah, okay, look. that's great. Me compre un lotín, por favor. I'm lucky. <laughs> en toda la rifa se gana algo, ¿verdad? I'm lucky. <laughs> okay. A veces no, teach. <laughs> <laughs> A veces no le, no le funciona la suerte. No. Vale, muy bien, entonces así describimos personas, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo es la personalidad de alguien? So, my brother Ever is honest. My sister Anna is kind. My friend René is lazy. My husband Reynaldo is loud. I'm honest. I am mean. I'm moody. I'm nervous. I'm lucky. I have another one for you tonight. And so for you to have a lot of examples of adjectives. And here we go with the next. So nice. Are you a nice person? Es usted una persona eh, amigable y amable. That is nice. That is the meaning of nice. Friendly and kind. Then I have the other one, which is polite. Someone who has good manners. Alguien educado. That is polite. Popular. Somebody who is liked by many people. Una persona que le cae bien a muchas personas. That is popular. Then quiet. They used to describe someone who doesn't talk very much. Utilizamos este adjetivo para las personas que no les gusta hablar mucho. Quiet. Y rude. Bad manner. Impolite. Una persona sin educación. That is rude. Maleducado. We say selfish. Someone who only thinks about themselves. Una persona que solo piensa acerca de sí mismo. That is selfish, we say egoísta in Spanish. Serious. Serious. Someone who is always very sensible. Alguien que siempre se enoja por todo, ¿verdad? Serio. No le gustan las bromas, los chistes. Serious. Shy. Shy, what is shy? Quite and a little bit nervous around other people. That is shy is como tímido. Yes, tímido, ¿verdad? Tímido is someone who doesn't like to be with uh, a lot of people, right? And they don't like to talk much. No les gusta hablar demasiado. Silly, number nine, someone who is a bit foolish or doesn't behave in serious way. Alguien que no se comporta de manera seria. ¿verdad? That is silly. And smart. Someone who is very, very clever. Es muy inteligente. That is smart. That is smart. So we can take some of these adjectives to describe somebody. 
puede tomar uno de estos adjetivos para describir a alguien? Just tell me a sentence. So we have nice, polite, popular, quiet, rude, selfish, serious, shy, silly, and smart. So tell me, Alexandra, tell me your sentence, please. My mother is nice. Okay, thank you. My mother is nice. She is friendly and kind. Amigable y amable. My, my mother is nice. Thank you. Any other sentence? Let's describe somebody. Your brother, your sister, your friends. The president is popular. Okay, Jonathan, tell me. My sister is polite. Okay, thank you so much. My sister is polite. Mi hermana es educada. Tell me, Arely. My sister is silly. Okay. My sister is silly, really? Mm. My sister is silly. She is not, she is in serious. Ella no es seria. Le gustan mucho las bromas and all of those things. Jokes. Eh, Maricela Sorto, what's your sentence? My husband is quiet. Okay, my husband is quiet. He don't like to talk too much. And he, he doesn't like to talk too much and he doesn't like to speak a lot with other people. That's quiet. Any other sentence? Two more, two more sentences. The last two sentences. My daughter is smart. My daughter is smart. Thank you so much. Smart. The last one, one of us said, my daughter is smart. Just one more. Una más, una más. The last one. Thank you, Delmi Areli. Tell me. Teacher, y esos adjetivos se pueden ocupar hasta en animales. Hasta en animales. Um, let me see. Algunos de ellos sí, ¿verdad? La mayoría pues, son para describir personas en este momento. But you can use adjectives to describe animals too. But some of them, yes, and some of them, no. My father is serious. Okay, serious. My father is serious. Okay, thank you so much. Bueno, luego les comparto la presentación para que ustedes los tengan también. Para que tengan todos estos adjetivos. Let's see the last, the last five adjectives. Veamos los últimos cinco adjetivos. Tidy. Unlucky. Untidy. And the last one is. Oh, I have two more. Vain. And wise. Do you have any idea what is the meaning of this adjective? Tidy is someone who is very neat and well organized. Tidy es una persona muy limpia y muy ordenada. That is tidy. Unlucky, someone who often suffers from bad fortune. ¿Se acuerdan qué significaba lucky? This is the opposite. Yes. Unlucky. A alguien que siempre le pasan las cosas malas. Um, tidy. Es el opposite de tidy, el opuesto de tidy, una persona que no es limpia ni ordenada. In vain, someone who is a bit too fond of their looks. Alguien que se preocupa mucho por su apariencia física. That is vain. Sería como vanidoso. Así es como vanidoso. Lo usé en Spanish vanidoso. En wise, someone with a lot of common sense and knowledge. 
That is wise. Alguien que tiene mucho sentido común y que tiene mucho conocimiento. That is wise. In Spanish is sabio. Alguien que sabe tomar decisiones, que sabe dar consejos. That is a wise person. So are you tidy or untidy? Teacher. Yes. ¿Será que puede repetir la number three? Untidy. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Untidy. Un, untidy. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So you say I'm tidy. Yo soy limpio y ordenado. I'm, I'm lucky. I am lucky. Tengo mala suerte. I am unlucky. You say, I am wise. Siempre que alguien que quiere un consejo viene a mí. So you say, I am wise. Soy sabio. ¿Conocen a alguien que, defina, que se defina por uno de estos adjetivos? Y puedan compartirme dos oraciones nada más. Just two sentences. Thank you, Delmi Alergui. Tell me. What's your sentence? My friend is buying in. Bain. Okay. My friend is Bain. Bain. My friend is Bain. Thank My you. My cousin hey. is wise. My cousin is, is wise. wise. Excellent. Excellent sentences. Thank you so much. Do you have any question about how to use this adjective in a sentence? Preguntas de cómo utilizar estos adjetivos en una oración. Teacher, también pueden ir eh, she o he al principio. Yes, she is. Um, she is my mother, let's see, Erika, for example. And then here you say she is wise. She is wise. Sí, se puede utilizar con el pronombre. She is wise. She is vain. She is untidy. He is unlucky. He's tidy. Okay. Thank you for your question. Let's continue then. Okay, I'm going to share this adjective with you. Don't worry. The presentation is going to be in the WhatsApp group. So, physical appearance. Number one, y ahora ya no son de personalidad, but that's not okay. Como se ve físicamente alguien. Physical appearance. And I have attractive, joyful, bold, beautiful, blonde, chubby, fat, Fit, gorgeous, muscular, ordinary, and skinny. And I have a slender too in this. And the last one is thin. So attractive, joyful, bald, beautiful, blonde, chubby, fat, fit, gorgeous, muscular, ordinary, skinny, slender, and thin. So attractive, it means that someone is very beautiful, right? Attractivo. Joyful, que alguien es joven. Bald, que alguien ya no tiene cabello, that is está calvo. So beautiful, what's the meaning of beautiful? Hermoso. Hermoso, Hermoso. bonito. Blonde, somebody who has yellow hair. Alguien que tiene el pelo de color amarillo, that is blonde. Rubio. Rubio. Yes. Chavi. Como gordito. A little bit overweight. Un poquito pasado de peso. Fat. Gordo. Rápido, no. Fat o ves. Gordo. Fat. Fit. ¿Han escuchado la frase be fit? Delgado. Oh. Ok, be fit es alguien que está en forma, ¿verdad? Eh, fit, sorry, es alguien oh, que está en sí. forma. 
gorgeous, alguien que es bonito, ¿verdad? atractivo, gorgeous, muscular, alguien que tiene el cuerpo bien definido, ¿verdad? músculos bien definidos, that is muscular, ordinary, es a no very attractive person, una persona no muy atractiva, that is ordinary, skinny, alguien muy delgado, slender, alguien esbelto, cuerpo normal, esbelto, en fin, delgado. When we are describing people, even physical appearance or eh, feelings or emotions, eh, tenemos que ser cuidadosos, ¿verdad? Algunos adjetivos son ofensivos ¿verdad? para algunas personas. Por ejemplo, fat, que significa pasado de peso, y no deberíamos utilizarlo, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos describiendo a alguien, deberíamos utilizar chubby mejor, ¿verdad? chubby, un poquito gordito, ¿verdad? y no decir está gordo, porque las personas se ofenden a veces. So we need to be careful with that. Si alguien es delgado, we can use slender. En lugar de utilizar skinny o thin, you can use slender. So just be careful with that. Can you help me to describe this girl? Me ayudaría a describir esta chica. Can you tell me some sentences to describe her? She is fit. Okay, uh, thank you. She is She's She's fit. fit. She is blonde. She is thin or ah, okay, so she's slender or she's thin. Yeah, so she is slender. She is joyful. Thank you. She is joyful. She is joyful. Well, the size is she tall or short? Tall. Oh. She's tall. Okay, great. She's fit. She's blonde. She's slender. She's joyful. She's tall. What is she like? Vaya a primera vista. ¿Cómo les parece? She's beautiful. Ah, okay. Beautiful. She's beautiful. Attracted. She's attractive. Attractive. She's thin. She's thin. Thank you. My in feelings and emotions, personality. ¿Cuáles adjetivos de personalidad podríamos utilizar? Bueno, no la conocemos, pero así a simple vista. She's friendly. It could be, right? She's friendly. It's a good sentence. Thank you. She's friendly. Cat. She is. Can you please repeat your sentence? Uh, cat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> quiet. She's quiet. She's quiet. She's nice. Oh, she's nice. She's nice. Thank you so much. So can you see, um, it's kind of easy to describe a person, right? And you have to know adjectives. Tiene que practicar los adjetivos, the adjectives. Thank you so much. Do you have any question? Do you have any question sí. about this Peter. class? Teacher, este, ¿cómo se pronunciaba? Youth, 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 for, algo así. It's like youthful, youthful, youthful. She's youthful. Youthful. Yes. Thank you. Okay, any other question? No question. 
No question. Okay, let's go with the last exercise for tonight. Can you please help me to describe this boy? Just a second. This. Let's describe him. Can you tell me some sentences to describe him? Um, he's handsome. He's uh, a slender. Okay, he's handsome. Thank you. Any other sentence? He's slender, you say. He's slender. He's tall. He's tall. He's joyful. Thank you. He's joyful. He's fit. He's fit. Any other sentence? He's fit. Can I look another sentence? He's attractive. Thank you. He's attractive. He's serious. Thank you so much. That is personality. He is serious. He's serious. Two more. Two more sentences. And we are done tonight. Yes. Oh, it could be too. He's popular. Él es popular. And the last one. He's bay. He's? Bay. Ah, okay. He's bay. También puede ser, ¿verdad? Parece que es vanidoso. He's bay. Okay, thank you so much for your attention tonight. Do you have a question? No question, teacher. No, no question. No question. No question, teacher. Okay, so just practice with this objective, describing your friends, describing your family members. So you can use all of these objectives to describe people. Thank you so much for your attention and for your participation tonight. Don't forget, please, about the plan for exercises and also the mean terms. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yvette Santillana, do you have a question? Sí, buenas noches. Este, lo que pasa es que hoy me llamaron en la, en la mañana porque yo no había terminado de hacer la, la parte de la sección 2, creo. Sí. Y me dijeron, me dijeron que la terminara de hacer y ya la, y ya la hice, pero no... Ya no le llamé para confirmarles que lo había terminado. Vaya, no se preocupe. El día viernes ellos revisan. Si ya ven su avance, no le van a volver a llamar. El día viernes es que ellos revisan su avance en la plataforma. Si ya la completó la sección número dos, eh, no se preocupe. Su avance se va a ver reflejado en la gráfica, en su, en su cuenta de la plataforma. Ah, ok, está bien. Sí, lo que pasa es que yo me equivoqué porque pensé que solo la sección 1 era la que tenía que hacer y no hice esa. Ah, Pero okay. sí ya la hice. Ok, bueno, no se le olvide nada más que para esta semana es la sección 3 las, y el mm -hmm. mito. Si tiene sí. algún problema, escriba en el grupo de WhatsApp. Si hay algún ejercicio que esté muy difícil o que la respuesta no le dé y podemos revisarla el día de mañana en la clase. Bueno, está bien. Muchas gracias. Ok. Thank you so Buenas much. Buenas noches. Claire. Good night. Bye bye. Josué, Olga, do you have a question? Josué, David, Olga, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Okay, good night then. Bye-bye.